Word up! Ow! Welcome back. Thank you very much for having us again. Mucho's grassy ass. <laughs> Your third time. Why do you, do, you, do you love New Zealand? Is that why you keep coming back? Yes. We and love it's because it. we heard there was a shortage of men. Th- yes. That's totally true. I know. Oh, you've been reading up. Absolutely. Why do you think we're here? <laughs> nice to hear. Nice to hear. Now, I don't usually read bios, but I, I was kind of bored last night. So I sat down and I read your bio. And I must say that I love the first line because it pretty much says, uh, time to forget what you think about Simple Plan because they don't care. They're not punk. They're not pop. They're not rock. They're Simple Plan, a great band. Now, Thank did you, you guys think of that or is that uh, your record? I'd like to say it? no, but it was probably one of us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> actually, no, I think we, we actually hired a, a writer from uh, Alternative Press magazine. Right. And I think he, he wrote that. Now, you must get sick of people talking about you guys. I mean, I'm not talking about Simple Plan are awesome. The rumors. What's probably the worst rumor that you've ever heard about yourselves? Or the funniest? Some, uh, I don't know, somewhere some people said that me and Pierre were gay. Yeah. That's, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's not so you guys. From the truth, yeah, dude, you're, it? you're hooking up outside. Yeah. What's up with that? I mean, just because I like to, you know, put his penis in my mouth once in a while, <laughs> I don't, it doesn't mean that we're gay. <laughs> it doesn't, but hey, no. It just we, means you're bored. Hey, it's we, a hobby. Exactly. We love uh, women. You got to have a hobby. You got to have a hobby. Now, what can people expect when they catch up with you tomorrow night if they uh, didn't see you before Green Day? Will it be different if they did? It's going to be different, I think, for this to be more, uh, obviously, it's our Green show. Green Day was like foreplay. Yeah, exactly. Green Day was like foreplay for us in, right. in New Zealand. Now it's going to be full on, you know, a simple plan show with the whole whole set, the whole you know, uh, our own, you know, whole setup with the stage. And it's going to be just longer, more songs. Actually, we're going to play for the first time a song called. Uh, Perfect world. Perfect Hopefully world. we can rehearse it tomorrow because I, I'm still not ready to play it, but we're going to risk it and go ahead. Now, some people say that foreplay is actually better than sex, so will there still be foreplay? You know, that's... Hey. Be right into it. You know, I mean, Bang. that is true that some people say that, but I strongly disagree. <laughs> I like to stick it in, and, you know, so for me, I think I would enjoy this time's show much better. But I don't know, you know, maybe... Some people who aren't ready for the full deal. I like the foreplay. <laughs> hey, oh, you, be, oh, you know what? You know, going to be amazing. Tell you what. Hey, I got it. This is the perfect analogy. Green Day show was foreplay. Now, this show is foreplay and sick. There we go. Got it. We went skydiving yesterday. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, it was great. But um, yeah, it was it was absolutely insane. Like, I think everybody should do it once. It's like, it's definitely. And, and the, the bottom line is that it's really safe. It's like, I think the last person that died doing it is like six years ago. What a moron. Yeah, and it, and it was like a stupid reason or something. Yeah, I ruined it all for the insurance. Yeah. Oh, no. Nice. But it really is like it's safer than walking down the street. So, I mean, yep. I, would sugge- I would I would, tell anyone to go do it. Now, you've still got a couple of days here. When do you fly out? Fly yeah. out two days from now. So you could still do some other stuff because we compiled a little list. Yes. We're thinking maybe fly to Queenstown, do some whitewater rafting. That would be fun. Yeah. That would be amazing. Go on the biggest flying fox in the world, which is at Mokai. And what they do is they strap you in and you actually go. What's a like, flying fox? It. Oh, it's like, did you not have those back in Canada? I don't know. Maybe you know when you're little and you used to hold on them? And then like you'd go from a tree to a tree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you hit the tire at the end. Well, this one you strap in and they take you through like a canal and you go right under a bridge. It's massive. It's the best rush you'll ever have in your life. You can do that. How far is that? That's about an hour and a half drive. We might do that tomorrow, maybe. You could do that. Or you could hang out with the boys from Kiwi Rock Band, The Feelers, though you'll probably get arrested. Really? Mm, but I heard you talking about massage parlors, and they know all of them. So there well, we go. Well, we should call them. Now, everybody lies for one reason or another. Maybe you're trying to lie to make someone feel better or try to get out of something. When's the last time you lied, and what was it? Yeah, I lie all the time. It's hard to tell. What was the last time? Damn. Um, oh, when you met me, you said you couldn't speak English. Have you lied since then? No. That was my <laughs> last lie. That was your last lie. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember. There it is. I just lied. <laughs> what, what, what did you lie about? You know, I, I said Same. I couldn't remember the last time I lied. So that means if you're saying you're lying, that you can remember. So what? So was that was it? no, but that was just the last time he lied because he said he couldn't remember. I he get it. Lie. There we go. Um, stalkers. Now you've got a massive following in New Zealand. Half of them are actually downstairs now. <laughs> um, no, no, actually, that doesn't sound. So too we good. have ten people <laughs> in New Zealand. No, 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 no. Um. <clears throat> Let's just rephrase A few that. of them. A, a couple, a handful of them are downstairs right now. Um, I've also met some of your fans that are simple plan obsessed. Freaks. What's the weirdest thing a fan's ever done to you? Oh, really? Is that weird? Is that <laughs> weird for you? Someone gave me a doll of myself, but it oh. looked like a, a Voodoo doll. Yeah. Something yeah. stuck in it? The weirdest thing that someone... No. Un- someone I get- stuck something in it. <laughs> <laughs> That is sick. <laughs> Someone uh, gave me a picture of a baby. 
And I, I think was it yours? Maybe it was mine, <laughs> yeah. but I hope not. Yeah, do you get cards on Father's Day? Or? Yeah. Yeah, from all Damn over it. the world. Is that why you're back? You're visiting your, I think your I, kid? I think I have a baby in Thailand. Oh, really? I'm New kidding. <clears throat> kidding. That was a guy that I had sex with. It wasn't a girl. What is the name of our Prime Minister who kind of looks like a man? Kiwi. Helen Clark. Oh, nice work. In which city is there a cathedral in the square that you can climb for $2? Christchurch. Ah, oh, look at you. Uh, who is there a picture of on our $5 note, and what is he famous for? Hold on, I'm going to get the $5 note out. Oh. I gave it to my uh, housekeeper at the hotel because I shaved my head, and there was hair all over the place. So. Oh, you got 20. Oh, there's a five. What do you want to know? On the other side. Well, we'll tell you who it is. Hold on. Look at him. He's trying to scam you five bucks. That's, uh, that's uh, what's his name? Mel Gibson. <laughs> Close. It's Governor Donald T. No. Shit. Sir Edmund Hillary. And what's he famous for? Oh, there it is. He's famous for his hair. He looked really good. <laughs> he had good hair. Now we have two main islands uh, that make up New Zealand. What are they called? South Island and North Island? Yes. That's it? Yes. <laughs> that, was, that was very simple. Have a good old time tomorrow night. Muchos gracias. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you again, no doubt, soon. Pierre's Absolutely. got a grassy ass. He just said it. And this weekend, no pants somewhere you don't know, all right? Okay. Do it. I do it all the time. Do it. I was, do it. I was talking to David. Oh, I do it all oh, the time. It's not all about you, bro. Just because you're the lead singer. Okay? Do it. <laughs> Actually, more about David. Look at him. He's so cute. Uh.